Hello everyone. I know I haven't made a video in a while, but I sure have not. I've still been working on this. The biggest change that I've been working on the last few weeks is something you can't see, which is the fact that this is now multiplayer. I've hosted a few multiplayer tests with people, with friends, and um, also this is a multiplayer server even though there's no one currently online. The other big change is that we can now use HDR skyboxes to do, do image-based lighting. So, which you can see in front of me. Um, this becomes even more obvious when you combine it with another thing that I've worked on in the last week or so, which is materials. So, just like Blackland, we've got a few different materials to choose from, uh, but they do different things. So, if we look at the chrome texture, oh, that's a red chrome block, so it's not going to be as obvious. So let's switch to uh, the color white. And uh, there you go, you can actually see the reflection of the skybox in it. Pretty neat. Uh, I'm going to show two other materials that I think are interesting because they don't just have visual properties, they have physical ones. So if I go and select the bouncy uh, material, it bounces. However, if I actually jump on it, I'll bounce up and down because it's a physical property. It actually makes it bouncy. Not just the players, but for any objects. Um, then there's another pro material like that, uh, it's called Slippery, so we do that, and you slip around. Uh, effect is obviously a bit more, uh, better to convey through actually playing it than a video, but the other important thing that I have changed a lot about is the vehicle building system. So I'm going to build a car really quick. Uh, so any brick that you can build normally can go in a car, special, basic, doesn't matter. Uh, any material properties will be saved. So we can build, uh, for example, chrome walls. Don't forget to build, a, I don't know, a little front plate, whatever. Don't make this transparent. Anyway, there you go. Very basic car. Uh, maybe we can put a special brick just to show that you can do that. Um, there we go. A little cone or something. Is that actually on there? Not quite. Sorry. I'm very particular about getting this cone on. There we go. Can I do it? Yeah, I did it. Okay. So I'm going to draw up this entire vehicle, make it into a vehicle. You can see we got some better wheels, very cool, very cool. But the other thing is you can actually get inside the vehicle and like walk around inside of it. So you could have an entire house as a vehicle and you could just walk around inside of it as it moves. Uh, pretty neat. Animations aren't really working right, so every time you move, you start walking. Even if you're not actually walking, that'll be fixed, whatever. Anyway, so if you left click on a vehicle, you can actually you see, you can push it around, you can get inside of it. Oh, well, not if it runs away from me. But if you left click on a vehicle, you can actually mount yourself to it. Uh, eventually, there'll be seat bricks. You'll mount yourself to wherever you built the seat brick. But for now, you just left click on a car and you mount yourself to it. It looks a little jittery. I assure you that's just because I'm recording. It doesn't usually play like that. Um, all of regular controls, but no. Oh, geez, I broke. <laughs> Handbrake. Uh, but anyway. So, uh,. Yeah, you can build vehicles. If they're heavier, they actually uh, have different handling based on that um, here. Okay, so uh, the reason I'm making a vehicle like this is because it shows very well the fact that you can actually walk on these things. Uh, I got a... <laughs> there you go. See, you can actually walk on it. There you go. <laughs> I don't know, I just wanted to prove that. And you can drive it too. Once again, no seats, you're just right in the middle of it, but still. All right, I actually almost forgot the most important thing that I wanted to uh, show off here was there is now a developer's console. So when you first hit like F12 or whatever, you'll get a screen where there's like a password bar and a login. You set your about password on the server. If you enter it in, you, it then changes to this screen. This is a uh, console output piped from the server. So, and you can also type in uh, Lua commands. So if we look at our player here, uh, you'll see if I jump, that's a jump. 
If I do this though, set gravity, I don't know, negative 20, right? The default value is 70. We now have a much higher jump. Uh, we can, for example, do negative gravity. We'll fly off the ground, negative. You can do a few other interesting things, like you can do uh, get client ID x zero dot um, set camera position zero three hundred zero. That will put our camera far above the world. Uh, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, let's see. We can do get client ID x zero uh, bind camera get dynamic ID x zero. Uh, yeah, that should work. Okay, so now we're back with our player. Uh, you could have two players, con or two clients, controlling the same player uh, at the same time. Uh, so they can fight over control. You. One more thing I can do is, I can kind of add a ragdoll thing. So if I do get player, set angular factor, one, one, one. But then I also have to do one more thing, IDX. Toggle rotation control false. So uh, that should basically turn us into something of a ragdoll. Oh, God. So you can just do this. <laughs> I don't know why you would ever need to do that, but uh, you can. Turns us into some sort of weird bobblehead thing. But uh, yeah, it just kind of shows us that uh, 